Today's video is going to be an emotional roller coaster because I'm basically just going to get bullied. I decided to jump on the bandwagon and make the same exact video that like every teenage girl YouTuber is currently making right now, and that is to read assumptions that their Instagram followers assume about them. Which, when you say it out loud, sounds like the most bizarre concept ever, and to be honest, I don't really understand the point, but I guess it's a good way to kind of clarify and um, defend yourself from any people who sort of believe things about you based on your online persona, because let's be honest, social media is basically all fake and <laughs> everything you put online is a facade. I try to be as realistic as I can and as transparent as I can be, but of course, you're never really gonna know someone if you only know them online. You're never gonna have a completely 100% accurate assumption of me. So anyways, I asked on my Instagram, I posted one of those question poll things, um, and basically asked you guys to assume things about me and I'm going to be reading those assumptions and clarifying whether or not they're true or false about me, which I guess could be fun. I don't know. I, I, I think it's interesting. I'm kind of curious to see what people think of me based on what they see online. So this should be fun. I might cry because I cannot stand criticism and I have a feeling I'm gonna get bullied. Let's jump into it. Also, if you don't already follow me on Instagram, it's at Angelina Nicole. I will link it down below and put it here. So one very popular assumption about me, and I've seen this on like every single YouTuber person who's done one of these videos. I swear like everybody just always assumes this about them and a lot of people assumed that I am a stoner or that I smoke weed a lot. Someone just said stoner. <laughs> I was like, is that an assumption or a declaration? So to clarify that assumption, I don't smoke a lot of weed. I actually could not tell you. Actually, no, I could tell you the last time I smoked weed. The last time I smoked weed was 4th of July. That was the last time. So that was like a long time ago, like almost half a year ago. I Like I enjoy it, but I'm not a stoner to clarify, but I also am not like 100% against smoking weed, if that makes sense. I also got a lot of people assuming that I'm bisexual and I don't actually think I've ever talked about my sexuality or made a video about my sexuality, but to clarify, I am not bisexual. I identify as straight. However, I also am not, a, like I, I'm not, I, I don't like to say that I would never do something. Do you know what I mean? I'm open-minded is what I'm trying to say, but I also don't have any desire to like do anything sexually with a girl as of now. It's just not something that I really think about or I'm into or I want to do. But like I said, I'm open-minded and I don't want to say that I would never do that. Hi, I'm straight. <laughs> this one is so funny. I actually laughed out loud when I read this one first and I don't know why I think it's hilarious, but this person assumes that they said, you hate almost everyone. <laughs> Do I come off as like a hateful person? Because that's a little concerning. <sighs> um, I definitely don't hate almost everyone. To be honest, like, like I can't name a lot of people that I hate, you know? Um, like murderers, rapists, hunters, people like that. Someone said you want to be a hippie. That I actually would say no to. I think maybe when I was like 16, this would be true. Now I'm like very much definitely not a hippie. Don't want to be a hippie. What even is a hippie? It's like the most loose, vague title you can give someone because it's like, what does that even mean? And is that a bad thing also? Anyways, to clarify, no, I don't want to be a hippie. I really just want to be myself and whatever that is. I don't really like to label myself as anything because that just like restricts what I can be, if you know what I mean. Okay, someone assumes that I want to try shrooms. This is true. I actually do really want to try shrooms. I'm reading a book right now by Michael Pollan called How to Change Your Mind, and it's all about like psychedelics and how they use them for like PTSD and anxiety and mental disorders and things like that, and it's really, really interesting to me. And also, I just have a lot of friends who have experienced shrooms, and I'm just really intrigued by it. I think that I would really enjoy it, and I really want to. So, never done it before, but am definitely interested in it and would like to do it in the nearby future. Someone assumes you had a bad relationship with food when you were younger and that's why you're vegan. This is partly true. It's not the reason I'm vegan. Well, it's not the reason I'm vegan, but it kind of helped with me going vegan. And yes, I did have a bad relationship with food when I was younger, mostly when I was in like freshman year of high school is when I kind of had almost an eating disorder, almost like orthorexia and Yes, so it's true. Okay, um, someone says you really don't like YouTube. This is so false. I freaking love YouTube. I watch YouTube videos all the time. I love making my own videos and posting videos and being a YouTuber, but I also love watching YouTube. Like seriously, I 
I just think YouTube's amazing. I love the fact that it's just a platform where you can seriously watch anything and I love it. I mean, I wouldn't be on YouTube if I didn't like it, you know? Someone assumes you care a lot if people don't like you. This is a hard one to answer because it's kind of like a yes and no. I don't really care if people don't like me. I don't know, it's sort of like, <laughs> because I, I think deep down pretty much everybody cares whether or not somebody likes them. I mean, they care about what people think about them deep down because like, you know, you don't like if everyone in the world hated you, you wouldn't feel good about yourself. Like that's true. You know what I mean? None of this like, I don't care what people think about me. Like, no, no, no. We all care about what people think about us. Otherwise we wouldn't do anything. Like, you know what I mean? But whether or not if I care, if people like me, especially being a YouTuber and like an influencer, I, you have to not care. You can't care if people don't like you because people are going to not like you no matter what you do. So I think making videos and like posting stuff online has really kind of helped me in that regards and helped me not care whether or not people like me. Someone said, I initially thought you were a lot more materialistic, but you are so down to earth. I wouldn't call myself materialistic, but I do like material items. Like I really like clothing and um, jewelry and materialistic things like that. But I also think that I'm down to earth. So can you be both is the question. Someone assumes that I have done or I want to do LSD. You are correct. I have done LSD. I don't want to do it again because I'd much rather do shrooms. And also my experience was very interesting. I have made a story time about this, but I think I've deleted it. I'm going to make another story time about this because there's a lot to say. <laughs> it was a very wild day in my life. Something that I hope I never have to experience again. You want to use social media less, but are unsure how to do it because it's your career. This is true. There are so many days where I'm like, honestly, I'm just gonna like throw my phone away delete all my social media but it's like since it is something that I do pretty much for a living and it's something that I do enjoy it's a struggle it's like an internal conflict that I have all the time I would like to use it less I guess but I, it's difficult it's a difficult it's a weird paradox of a situation if that makes sense but um it's okay because I do enjoy it I really enjoy the creative aspect of it there's a lot of aspects of social media that I don't enjoy but I try to not really participate in those aspects. Someone assumes that I love everything about my body. I have come a long way on the self-love journey and that could be a whole other video as well. To be honest, when it comes to my body, I have really come to love and accept it in a lot of ways. There are, there are days and there are times and periods in my life where I do get insecure about certain things, especially things that I've been insecure about for a long time. I actually really love my body. I'm happy with it. I wouldn't mind being a little bit taller. I'm 5'3", so it'd be kind of cool if I was taller. It'd be nice, but you know, short girls are cool too. We rock. We're great. Okay, someone assumes, people assume that you are a lot younger than you actually are. I feel like people assume I'm a lot younger than I am when they just look at me, but when they talk to me, it's the other way around. Because I've like had this conversation with so many people who I meet for the first time, and they always assume that I'm at least a couple years older than I am, but I don't think it's how I look. I think it's just the way that I talk and I don't want to be like, oh, wow, I'm so mature because uh, I'm not. But I have just had people tell me that when they first met me, they're like, oh, wow, like I thought you were older than that. But I think I've always thought that I look a lot younger. Yeah. <laughs> I've always thought that I look a lot. <laughs> I've always thought that I look a lot younger than I am. And I think being short has to do with it as well. Someone assumes that I'm a little bit shy. Well, I've made a video about my social anxiety before, so I have social anxiety, so that could come off as being shy, but it, it kind of depends on who I'm with and, and like the mood I'm in, because sometimes I have moments where I'm just like, I would say I'm definitely like an observationist more so than an interactor, if that makes sense. So like in a, in like a group setting, like a social setting, I am more the type of person who will sit back and watch and like observe the situation and listen than to like interact and jump in and like participate in what's happening. I guess I could come off as being shy or quiet, but um, it definitely depends on the people I'm around. If I know somebody or, you know, whatever like I'm, I'm all good. <laughs> Someone assumes that I'm afraid of being basic. I guess I kind of am. Like even just making this video is like, I feel like this is like a basic video because everyone's making it right now. And I don't want to be, I don't want to just be another YouTuber that makes the same videos as everybody else. I feel like I have so many interesting ideas and I'm just scared to make them still. And I'm working on that. So yeah, I guess I do have like a fear of being basic for my own sake, really, because I feel like I have the potential and the ideas to not be, but it's just so easy to be. You know what I mean? Someone assumes that my life has been easy. I 
think in relation to like a lot of people's lives it's definitely been much easier than so many people. I definitely have lived a privileged life. That isn't to say like I haven't had struggles or bad things happen to me in my life. I have definitely experienced like losing family members and stuff and yeah, so my life hasn't been easy, but in relation to a lot of other people's lives it has been. You know, we all have our own struggles and that doesn't mean that one struggle is like worse or better than another person's struggle. So there you go. You believe in the government being after us. Dude, fuck yes, are you joking? They hate us and they just wanna control us and we are just pawns. And if you haven't read the book 1984, read it because that's gonna happen. Let me tell you, they're watching us. Someone assumes that I am really confident. Sometimes, sometimes I'm confident. I like to think I'm confident and I like to pretend I'm confident even if I'm not confident. There are days when I do not feel so confident. I have confidence in different areas of my life. And then there's some, I mean, a lot of times I even doubt like if I'm doing the right thing or what I'm doing right now with my life. And you know, should I have gone to school? Should I not have traveled? I don't ever regret traveling or whatever, but like I just think of these things cause I look at other people's lives and I'm like, Maybe I should be doing that. And that's the whole comparison thing again, you know? So I just always have to remind myself, you're doing you, just do you and you're all good to go. Okay, someone said you don't have that many friends. You know, this is getting a little bit too personal here, a little bit too dark. Quality over quantity, right? That's what they say. So, okay, someone assumes that I'm vegan because of the health benefits, not the saving animals part. This is false. I am vegan 100% because of the animals. That is what made me go vegan in the first place. And then of course I got into the health aspects of it as well. But the reason that I'm vegan is 100% because of the animals. I am like the biggest animal lover ever. And yeah, that's why I'm vegan. Someone said, you sometimes hate your job. So my job is making videos right now and I don't hate it actually. I really love it. I really enjoy it. I wouldn't be doing it if I hated it, you know? If I really, really hated it, I would not do it, but I do love it. So that's why I do it. <laughs> you like hanging with friends and partying. I do, but I also don't. I like staying at home and reading a book or staying at home and taking a bath or staying at home and watching movies. But I also like hang out, hanging out with friends and partying, like partying, partying, just like, yeah, I guess partying, whatever. I like both of the things. Someone assumes that I'm a basic hoe. What can I say? Someone assumes deep down I want to dye my hair a crazy color. No, I don't. I'm actually surprised I even dyed my hair blonde. I do not want to dye my hair a crazy color and I, I'm saying this right now, I never will. Hold me, hold me to it. Someone assumes that I used to do drugs, but that I don't anymore. So why the fuck did I just talk like that? Please ignore that. I, by drugs, if you mean weed, then actually by drugs, if you mean any drug, then you're correct. <laughs> I never made like conscious decision to stop smoking weed. It was kind of just like, I just didn't really care anymore. And I still am just like, Meh, whatever, like it's not a big deal. I don't really feel like going on my way to smoke weed just for the heck of it. I don't know, but like I used to enjoy it. So I guess that's kind of accurate. Someone assumes I'm very healthy. I'm balanced. I'm not super healthy, but I am conscious of my health very much so. But at the same time, like I definitely eat junk food junk vegan food. I go to the gym all the time, but at the same time, like I, sometimes I don't. And sometimes I just sit around and do nothing. <laughs> this one is so fucking funny. I love this one so much. It's so specific. That's what's so hilarious about it. So someone said, you grew up with a, <laughs> you grew up with a wagon car. Your parents fed you Annie's brand and you 100% own chicks. Like little chicken, like baby chicks. This is freaking hilarious because it's so specific. This, is, and also like this isn't true at all. I actually grew up in like a really just suburban, normal, mid wealth, what, what the fuck do you call that? Middle class. And my mom fed me like toaster strudels and pop tarts and shit. Like we didn't even eat, my, she made home cooked dinners, but like I didn't eat like organic stuff at all. You know, I ate vegetables and stuff, but I didn't eat like organic stuff. We did not own chicks, but I did have like guinea pigs and rats and rabbits and stuff growing up. But yeah, I grew up in like a very just kind of average white person household, <laughs> you know, kind of sad, but. There you go. Someone assumes that I act way older than I am. I don't really know, cause it's like, at this point, what is a 21 year old supposed to act like? You know, what What am I meant to act like? I'm an adult now, am, do I act like an adult? I have no idea. I just act the way I wanna act. Someone assumes you probably have a lot of friends abroad and a few from home. That's actually funny. I have like two friends abroad, like literally. I met a lot of people, but I, what, I didn't really become like super good friends with like, anyone except like a couple people and that's it. Um, someone assumes I'm actually not vegan. I am 100% vegan. 
So there you go. Someone assumes that I did not get a higher education. This is true. I took two classes at a junior college. I took like a stats class and an English class and that's it. So that's the higher education that I got. Someone assumes that I read a lot or they said, it seems like you seem like you read a lot. That is very true. I have always loved reading. I love books. I guess I could do a video on like my favorite books, I guess. I don't know. Does anyone even want to see that? Is that freaking dumb? I don't know, but I, I have... <laughs> I got a bunch of books for Christmas, so I have like my reading list already sort of I'm like reading a book right now And then I have like all the books that I want to read after that because I have a big list of books that I want to read If you want to know my favorite book of all time, it's The Catcher in the Rye I've read it a million times and I will probably read it a million more times because it's my favorite book in the world My favorite novel for that matter. Okay <laughs> We're gonna end it on a high note. Okay, we're gonna end it on a very high note So somebody assumes that I'm great at sex and you know who's gonna just openly admit that they're horrible in bed you know who's just gonna be like nah you're wrong i'm not great i'm i fucking suck <laughs> like who's gonna say that you know like you're wrong i'm really bad in bed i'm i'm terrible i just i just can't i'm, I'm really bad you know d minus i'll give you a list of people you can ask to um clarify you know to confirm your assumption Anyways, that is all for today, folks. Thank you so much for watching. This one wasn't too bad. I don't think I got bullied that hard, but I hope this clarified some assumptions about me. If you had any of any of these assumptions about me, then I hope that that busted your myths. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one.